I got up the next morning at approximately 10 o'clock. I start texting Sheena. I called her several times and there was no answer. I'm not really concerned at all. This has happened several times. I get a phone call from Joe. He explains he had a fight with Sheena. He left her in Anna Maria Island. I was very concerned. How do you just leave her there? As Joe and I were still talking, he starts saying something about Sheena being bipolar or suicidal and that she was crazy. And why am I suddenly hearing this word? Suicide. I don't know how all of a sudden someone becomes suicidal in a day. Joe had called me and that conversation struck me as very odd. Joe had talked about Sheena in the past tense and one of his statements to me was, why couldn't Sheena just get along with my children? It just didn't seem right to me. I went over to her apartment. I knock on the door. No one's there. Now I get a call from Kelly. The police had instructed Kelly to tell me to go back to Kelly's house. Now I'm concerned. I walk down to the end of the driveway and there's two police officers. I said, where is she? she is, is she in trouble? And they said, let's, let's take this inside. And that's when I was informed that my only child was gone. I get to Kelly's house and as I'm walking up and I asked, the Tampa police officer what's going on and he says you know just go inside and as I was passing he turned to me and said I'm sorry for your loss I just dropped to my knees I felt like the life was sucked out of me and I just couldn't believe what this man was telling me when I got the phone call that Sheena was dead my very first reaction is I'm gonna kill that and I immediately thought of Joe Ready to get real? Subscribe to the Dr. Phil Show YouTube channel for exclusive videos you won't see anywhere else.